I don't know how to thank you. Thank you, thank you to all my family members, all 12,000 plus family members. Look at what you have done. We are monetized, family. Y'all got us monetized. I really, really appreciate that. I never thought that I would get on YouTube and be monetized. That, that really wasn't the goal, y'all. It really wasn't. I'm being honest. The goal was just to get stuff off my phone. I'm a chef. I love to pray. I love to spread the word of God. I love to fill people's belly with good food, y'all. So I love what I do. So that's what it was about. Just like every other content creator that's been monetized, I've heard people say before, I never thought the day would come. I never thought it would be me. And now here it is. I can honestly say that I didn't expect this. Now, I knew if I put my heart, my mind, and my body, my soul, and everything in it, and I prayed upon it, I asked God for it, it shall be delivered to me. But I did not expect it to come this way, in this fashion, while I'm in the midst of a storm. No, y'all. But that's how God works. I want to thank y'all. Because y'all truly don't understand everything that I've gone through. And I was going to do a get to know me video. So I might as well do it and thank y'all at the same time. 12,000 plus family members. For me, that's, that's a lot, y'all. Y'all are part of my YouTubian society. Yes, I said it. YouTubian society. YouTube-topia. <laughs> Thank y'all. I appreciate that. But like I was saying, it's been a storm that I've been in the midst of. Uh, some know, and I want to address that because I've had people ask me, how is my son doing? My son is doing well. Some that do know and the ones that have asked, they are, are aware that I have a fully disabled child. My wife and I have a fully disabled son. He is what you would call a active quadriplegic in a way. A quadriplegic means you can't use your hands nor your legs. My son has motions in his hands and in his legs, but he does not have functional motion in his hands and his legs, which means he is wheelchair bound. My son is 16 years old, but he has the cognitive capacity at the most of a nine month, maybe to a year old baby is what we have been told by the doctor. So my son is wheelchair bound. He cannot walk. He cannot talk. He cannot sit up on his own. He cannot crawl. He can do none of the things that we have seen these beautiful children, and even we have had the capacity to do. Not all of us, but some of us have had the capacity to be get up, to be able to get up and walk. To be able to speak and articulate ourselves, to say the words that come to our mind. So, having to be in the situation, the God blessed situation, to have a begotten, fully disabled son, and then to have family members on YouTube, my fellow YouTubians. My brothers, my sisters, my mothers, I want to thank y'all. Because just like Jesus Christ said, those who do the will of the Father, they are my mother, they are my brother, they are my sister, and I am your brother. And y'all have shown me support. I want to thank y'all for that. Agnes Ingram has shown support. This is Benny with an I at the end of it. I hope I'm saying that right. Carlos, you know who you are. You've shown me support. I want to thank y'all. And so many, many, many more have shown support. I can't call everybody by name. But like I say, it's been a storm. 
My son was in the hospital early this year. My son was in the hospital for about a little bit less than three months. And now he wasn't just in the hospital. He was in ICU the entire time. We didn't know what was going to happen to my son, my wife and I. He was on life support. He couldn't breathe. He couldn't breathe. We had to rush him to the hospital, y'all. We had to get him there. We had to get the ambulance out here, and it took them a while. But when they got out there, they saw that his respiratory rate was at 33%. Now, if you are in the medical field, or if you know someone in the medical field, ask them, how long can you survive with a respiratory rate at 33% or below? 33%. But let me tell y'all what happened. So as my son is sitting at 33% oxygen and fluctuating down, God said, put your hand on your son and pray to me. And y'all, I did that. And God said, no, 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 son. I have given you a firm, strong voice. I need you to pray aloud because the prayer that you are praying is not necessarily for you nor is it for your wife and it's definitely not for your son because your son is in my hand i have begotten him to you so you speak this prayer aloud because i have given you voice i have not given your son the voice i've given it to you these were the words that came through my mind in a millisecond god said speak it aloud so that the paramedics that are there can witness the things I can do versus the things that they can do. Now, the paramedics had my son on 15 liters of oxygen. 15 liters of oxygen is a lot of oxygen. And he still was sitting at 33 or lower. Because when they got him on the 15 liters of oxygen, it rose to 33. Because it was lower than 33. And I began to pray aloud. And after I finished praying, I opened my eyes up. I look at the oximeter. And I see that my son is sitting now at 89, now 90, now 91, now 92, now 93, now 94 to 95 percent oxygen. The paramedics were shocked. One of them was so shocked that he actually pulled me to the side and thanked me. And as I'm thanking them, he's thanking me. So what I'm trying to tell you all, my fellow YouTubians, my family members, my friends, when God puts something in you, do it. Do it. God told me to do this. I want you to create a YouTube account. First, God had me go through Instagram and Facebook but here I am, y'all, and y'all have heard me. Those who have ears have heard. Those who have eyes, spiritual eyes, have seen. Those who have appetite have tasted and learned and saw the recipes, y'all. So I appreciate that. Those who seek unification with the mind, the heart. And the spirit. See. So I really want to thank y'all. I want to thank y'all. Because my son made it. To the hospital. He spent the 60 plus days. In the hospital. Which was a burden. Because just because you have a fully disabled child. Doesn't mean that your job is always going to understand. But fortunately. I do have a job that understands. My wife does have a job. That understands. Thank God for that. But there are many other people have disabled children and their jobs don't understand. I've worked jobs in the past where they did not understand. And they
they did not care. But God has placed us in a position to where we can still work a job, get by, and have our son fully taken care of. So I want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. I want to thank y'all. It means so much to see that y'all have taken the time to watch me, to listen to me, to hear me. And I'm going to be producing more content. I'm not going to stop. We're going to be relentlessly, relentless in our pursuit to give you what you need. As I've stated before, y'all, if y'all feel like it's something that we miss, let us know so we can add it to the playlist. Now, you know where we're trying to be in your up next section and in your browser. That is where we are trying to be. We won't waste your time. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. We don't do that. So my channel, you see a variety. The name God's servant. Amazes me how long it just, I just changed that handle to God's servant. And God told me to, God said, son, I want you to switch it to God's servant. I'm like, God's servant, I'm pretty sure that's taken. And it wasn't. So that's how you know when God has something for you, no matter what you think. Mm -mm. You lean on what God's saying. Lean on the understanding of God. If you lean on God's understanding, you don't need the understanding of your own self, nor the next man or woman. You won't need anything at all, nor will you need no thing, because you have God. So I ask that you keep your faith every day, no matter what it is that you are doing, keep your faith, because I ain't gonna lie, family, there are many days where I just want to cry. I just want to cry, because... I have to deal with my son. That's just one situation, y'all. I didn't tell you, last year he had a complete spinal surgery. Did you hear what I said? I said a complete spinal surgery, y'all. From C4 all the way down to the sacrum. He has two, two titanium rods in him with 50 plus screws. And then he has the bolts to go with them as well, y'all. So that surgery was like a nine, ten hour surgery. But I still was praying. I still was making posts. And y'all still were giving me positive, positive comments. Y'all didn't necessarily know, unless you watched a few of my live videos, or saw me on some shorts when I was praying at Scottish Rights Hospital or Children's Hospital. But other than that, I really didn't talk about it that much. I kept doing my videos because God told me to do so. God told me to go out to YouTube and there will be other people that understand you. And there will be people that are waiting to hear what you have to say, to see how you deal with things in life. And there are people waiting on you, my fellow YouTubian, for you to say what you need to say. And if all you do is need to just hear, then listen to what I'm saying to you. Keep your faith. Remain relentlessly relentless in your pursuit of the kingdom of God and everything that God has for you. It doesn't matter what God has done for the next. That is an example. But let God be the inside example for you. Let God use you as that vessel because you are God's servant. As I am God's servant, you are God's servant. We all are. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And if you feel as if you're alone, just remember what I've told you. You're not alone. You are not. Complete spinal surgery with 50 plus screws. He almost passed away from that and was on life support. And there are other surgeries that happened before. So we almost lost my son, but when God has something, nothing can take it away. It doesn't matter what the diagnosis is. It's the 
prognoses from God that matters. So keep your faith. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, and thank you, y'all. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your prayers. I appreciate your love. I appreciate your comments. I really mean it from the bottom of my heart and beyond. If I had a thousand tongues, I could not say thank you enough. If I had an endless voice, I could not vibrate those words enough for you to understand. Amen. I love you as God loves you. And y'all, keep on, keep on, keep on coming. Keep on coming, y'all. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to be myself. That's all God wants us to be, y'all. YouTube is a place for humanity to get together. Twitter is no race, but one race, humanity. God's race. We all breathe the same air. We don't have to ask our eyes to blink, our heart to beat, or our lungs to inhale and exhale. We don't ever have to ask those things to occur, y'all. So let us keep our faith, and let us keep moving forward. Come on, y'all. Let's go ahead and get up to 25,000 family members, y'all. Thank y'all. And you, too. Thank you, too. Because I'm monetized through you. And I am looking forward, you too, to expand my YouTubian society, my YouTube-topia. We all here, y'all. God bless. Amen.